Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in unit 3. We are going to see non-restoring division. Okay. In previous video, we have seen a restoring division. Right. And we have, we have seen the main logic of restoring division. And today we are going to see non-restoring division. Okay. So, we have already seen what is the normal division and what are the steps involved, right? And I would request you to first go through the restoring division concept and then come to the non-restoring division so that you can understand the concept very clearly, right? So, this is the steps for non-restoring division, right? And, right, first step is the sign of A is 0. Then, first thing is you have to shift A and 0 left position. And if it is A is 0, you have to do subtract, right? And similarly, otherwise what you have to do is you have to add M to A. And if the sign of A is 0, then you have to set Q0 to 1. This is, we, we know that already, right? If A is equal to 1, you have to set Q0 as 0. And similarly, if it is 0, you have to put it as 1, right? So if the sign of A is 1, then you have to add M to A, right? So if you don't understand this first point, don't worry. Right? You, you will just see the example so that you can clearly understand. Okay? Right. So, before going to this non-restoring division, right? So, like this, the same steps which you are going to follow, right? But only logic, right? The only difference is, the main difference in logic is, there will not be any restore operation. Correct? There will not be any restore operation. Right? I will explain this after explaining the example. Okay? Right, we will take the same example. What is the same example we are going to take? We are going to take 1000. We are going to take 1000 as the dividend, right? And the divisor is 11, right? So, what I will do? I will put 1 here. So, it is 1, 1, normal division I am doing, right? So, it is 10 minus 1, it is 1. And 10 minus 1, right? That is, this will become 1. 1 minus 1, 0, right? So, this is, I bring this 0. I cannot divide. So, I can put 0 here, right? So, the remainder is 10 and the quotient is also 10, correct? Right. So, now we will do non-restoring division, right? So, before seeing this non-restoring division, right? So we'll, we know that in restoring division, we have three steps. One is shift. Another one is subtract. Another one is restore, correct? Restore, right? Here, uh, that is restore only if there is 1. If the sign bit is 1, there will be restore. If it is 0, there is no restore. Correct? This is the restoring division. Okay? Here, what we are going to do is here, we are going to do a different step. Here, only the shift operation is common. Here, the shift operation is common. Okay? And re apart from the sum, right? It can be add or sum. It can be add or subtraction. It can be addition or subtraction depending upon the signed bit. Okay. That is the only change. Right. So, we will see that with an example here. Now, as usual, right, we know that uh, the dividend 1000 will be saved in Q. Right. And the divisor that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Right. That is saved in M. And accumulator value, initially it will be 4 right that is four bits only so that is what and since in order to include sign bit we are including the fifth bit okay and that is why we are using five bits here and even in uh, the divisor okay right now just just look understand the concept very clearly the first operation is shift operation correct so what is the shift operation you have to shift it so this will become empty correct so this zero and you have to bring this zero here and you have to bring this 0 here. And then you have to bring this 1 here. Right. And then you have to bring this 0 here. And then you have to bring this 0 here. And then you have to bring this 0 here. And then you have to bring this 0 here. Got it? Right. Now, be very clear. Now, understand that the first thing is shift operation. Right. So, after shifting the operation. Right. And if the signed bit is 0. If the signed bit is 0. Right. What I have to do, I have to perform subtraction. Okay. And you can see here, this is 0. Right. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to do a subtraction. 
So subtraction in the sense what I have to do, I have to take two's complement of this one. Correct? So what I will do, I'll take two's complement. So it is one, 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 zero, one. Correct? That is the two's complement of this value. Correct? Right? So if I take two's complement, what I have to do, right? That is I have to subtract here since it is zero. So what I am putting is one, 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 zero, one. Correct? So this value. So it is 10. It's one. Right? And it's one. It's one, one. Correct? Right. And you know that this three values is zero, zero, zero. And this is empty. Correct? Now, this is different. Right? Now, listen. Now, if this is one, if the sign bit is one, what you will do? You will put the complement of that value. Correct? If this is one, you got to put the complement of this value. This is one cycle. Okay? Now, listen very carefully what we have done. Right? What we have done is we have just shifted the values. Okay? And after shifting, what we have done is we have just subtracted because the sign bit is zero. And after subtracting, what I am doing is I am putting it like this. Right? In restoring division, what you will do, you will, you will bring this to the next level. Right? But here, you will, you will find this value here. Okay? You got it? Right. Now, this is one cycle. Okay? Shift and subtract. Okay? First cycle is over. Now, the second cycle. What I have to do the second cycle? Again, now, this is the value. Right? Now, what I will do? I will I have to shift this zero. So, this will be empty. Correct? Zero. And this will be zero. And this will be zero. Right? And this will be zero. Right? And now, this will be zero and i'll bring this one here one and this one here one and this one here one correct right and now you understand that what you are getting here here we got one right so if it is one what we have to do we have to do addition right shift operation is over and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do addition addition in the sense we can use the same number right so it is triple zero double one the same divisor okay now, if you add what you'll get, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, right? So, now you can put this value, right? This is triple zero and this box, what will happen? This will go to 0, correct? Right? So, this is the second cycle, okay? Now, you can cross verify this. You can cross verify this. This is the second cycle, right? This is the second cycle and this is the first cycle, right? So, you can see here, I'll, I'll just highlight that. So you can see this is the second cycle answer. This is the second cycle answer. So it's two, everything is one and four zeros, correct? You can see everything is one and four zeros, correct? And even the first cycle, this is the first cycle, correct? This is the first cycle, right? So this is the first cycle, you can see here. So it is four, one and zero. You can see four, one and zero and all three is, all fours are zeros. Right now you understand that? Right? And now, what? once again, what you have to do? You have to do a shift operation. Correct? So, I'll explain this here. Now, now, after this, what will happen? Now, you have to do a shift operation. You can see shift, 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 shift operation, shift operation, right? And then shift operation, shift operation, and shift operation here, right? And so, the final, there is one here. So, what we have to do? We have to add, right? So we have to add triple zero double, double one. So you'll add, you'll get this one. Correct? Right? So if you get this one zero, what you have to do? You have to place it as one here. Correct? And now once again, what you have to do? You have to do a shift operation. Right? So you have to shift, shift operation, shift operation. After shifting, you can find that the, the first bit is zero. First bit zero, what you have to do? You have to do subtraction. Correct? So if you subtract here, what you'll get? Triple one zero one, you'll get all this one correct and you have to put this value as zero right now listen very carefully this is the quotient we obtain the quotient okay and we got one here right so we have to do one more step only here right that that is because right only after doing this particular operation we can able to obtain the final answer okay the fourth cycle okay right now it's one now what you will do you have to add correct so if it is one so what you will do triple one triple zero double one if you add you'll get this one so you can see here the remainder is one zero and the quotient is one zero you got it the only difference between restore and non-restore is right there is no restore operation another very important point is that you have to do subtract for all the operations but here depending upon the first sign 
you have to do whether subtraction or addition right hope you are clear with the concept okay so if you understand the logic you can explain it very clearly okay and now coming to this particular flow chart now you understand this flow chart correct so first you have to do like you have to save divisor at m divider at q and accumulator will be zero right so depending upon there is four four bits right so n will be four right and now what you have to do right uh, you have to find out like first thing is you have to shift right in anything first first thing is shift operation right and after shifting what will happen here now listen very carefully right after shifting right the first bit what you have to do you have to understand the signed bit right if the signed bit is 0 or 1 right if the signed bit is 0 right if the signed bit is 0 then what you have to do you have to do a minus 1 m and if it is 1 you have to do a plus m right right and similarly what you will do if it is 1 you will put q naught as 0 and q naught as 1 right and you have to continue the steps until the count reaches 0 right right and at last if the count becomes 0 what will happen the count becomes 0 right you will find out the a is 1 right the a, if a is 1 you have to do this final step that is a plus m correct so that you will obtain quotient at q and remainder at a right very simple right and and uh, this this particular circuit right this particular logic is same right what you have to do you have to load the dividend in register q and you have to load the divisor in m right and you have to obtain two's complement of m right if there is subtraction you have to take two's complement of m right and initially a will be zero and you know what is the count value right and there will be a shift operation in accumulator and q value right and depending upon the q naught position the calculation will take place right and listen very carefully you have to explain like this accumulator is zero initially it will have dividend value and it will have the divisor value right and you know the control sequencer it will do the shift operation right and there will be shift operation for each and every cycle every cycle okay and the addition and subtraction is mainly depend upon this q naught value right if q naught is zero what will happen and q naught is one what will happen right and that is what the non restoring division okay this is the logic of non restoring division so today what we have seen is we have seen how to perform non restoring division okay so we have taken the same example as restore division and the only difference between restore and non restore is you will not have a restore operation okay right so hope you understand the logic right thank you students thank you students thank you for watching Kandipa in the video ongal kellar ko useful a irukko subscribe passionate professor and keep learning thank you very much.